Alright, same title. I didn't have to change that. I left that open, but I changed the game to Resident Evil 7. There's Go Tell Aunt Rhody, by the way, Mary. You were, I think it was you or Kim asking about what the deal was with that. Go Tell Aunt Rhody. It was you. There you go. It's the theme song of this game. Here we are with 7. Alright, so um, one thing I'm going to do... And this is where I will. This is where I I encourage uh, audience feedback. Um, I'm gonna assume that the audio balance with Resident Evil Six was pretty good, but it's a much louder game. So I'm gonna move the Elgato up to negative five from negative ten, and um, this will let you all know. If, uh, just keep, just keep, just let me know if you can hear the game audio okay. This is a quieter game, so I've turned it up. Uh, this is Resident Evil 7. This game's got a lot of good stuff. Um, and, and as Oni Link mentioned earlier, yo, we got ray tracing on. Because this game can handle it. It's the only one on PS5 that can really handle it without frame rate dips. Um, I like subtitles on. Um, no VR, unfortunately. But everything else is good. We are going to start a new game. I'm going to be playing on normal. Resident Evil 7. Alright, let me know if you can hear. Keep in mind, this cutscene's a little quiet because it's on a video. I just wanted to send a quick hello and I love you. Oh, good news. I'm going to be coming home soon. Yay! Yay! Oh, I cannot wait to be done with this babysitting job. And come home to my loving husband. I miss you. Oh, I gotta get back to work. I love you, Ethan. I miss you so much. I'm sending tons of kisses. Tons of them. Bye, baby. You were right. Look at the bottom right. Medium I quality. I shouldn't have. All I can say is that if you get this, stay away. Got a message for the ladies out there. You ever send me an SOS? I don't want one in medium quality. I want that shit in 4K. Or I ain't coming. Hello? Hey, it's, uh, it's Ethan. Uh, now the game should be a little louder. You just disappeared the other night. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm It's good. the PS5 version, Mary, as opposed to yeah. the original release. She's not dead, she's alive. She, she's back. They found her? How? What happened? I don't know. Look, I don't know how, but she's back. She's back somehow. Maybe it's a prank. She wants me to come and get her. Where is she? Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. How is the game audio? It's been three years. To anyone know, in chat. I know, but what if it is her? I have to find out what happened. Sounds great. All right. Mary, I'm guessing when this game first came out, you probably played it, correct me if I'm wrong, on Xbox One. In, in which case, you know, that was an older generation console. Um, it would have been like 900p... Um, probably shaky frame rate. This is the PlayStation 5 native app. There's also a Series X native app that's free. If you bought it on Xbox One, you can get the Series X version for free. And it's much higher res. It has ray tracing. Uh, it looks a lot better. So if you bought RE7 on Xbox One, it should be a free upgrade. And that goes for all the other RE Engine games. So RE, RE2 Remake, RE3 Remake. Um... Or, or PS5, if you had bought them. Alright, check my objective. So I did put uh, tutorials on. It's been a while since I've played this game. This is the very first RE Engine game. Uh, well, 4... Yeah, well, f not the original version of 4. If you bought the remake. But the remake wasn't on Xbox One. It was on, It's only on PS4, PS5, and Xbox Series consoles. Not not OG four, but if you bought RE two remake, then these next gen versions are free upgrades. 
Uh, but this is the first RE Engine game using this new engine. Resident Evil 7 was the first, followed by RE2 Remake, followed by RE3 Remake, followed by Village, followed by RE4 Remake. So the last-gen version was a little rough in some areas. Let me tell you how RE7 was on when it originally released. If you were playing RE7 on base, on Xbox One or PS4, even the enhanced consoles, if I were to bolt and run and then just look at this truck, whoop, it would look like an, N60, a Nintendo 64 model for like al almost a second to two seconds. It would take, that's called LOD pop-in uh, level of detail. Like, if, you, if I were running around and I were just like, whoop, it would look like shit. And then it would go, boop, like the new one would pop in. It was really bad about that the original release so if you can help it playing this on steam or ps5 or xbox series console is definitely recommended sewer gators episode 17 project proposal sneak into a louisiana ghost house okay the sewer gators they want to make their show join us oh shit i don't know man i don't know accept her gift Okay, Th I, this makes me so uncomfortable because I, I live in the South. Summer in the South is hot and humid and awful. Uh, where I live, it's not quite as bad as Louisiana, but it's not far. It's not like this is like, and they did they did a good job. All this yellow and all the, all the mosquitoes, they did a good job um, of. Uh, of making this feel like just hot and humid and awful. And there we go. We get our lake reflection. All right. Very swampy. Yep. Dolby, Louisiana, a fictitious uh, town in Louisiana. All right. What do we have here? Oh, God. All right. Just a dead deer. Look at this mess. All right, R three to crouch. All right, this is why I put those tutorials back on. I'm used to O crouching. Um, I'm gonna assume that they do. You, you, everyone in the South has AC. Although occasionally you'll meet someone in the South that has AC, but they're like an asshole and they keep it at seventy eight or something terrible. Driver's license, Mia from Texas. So, so far, we have an email from Mia that we can look at. From Mia Winters, sent July 18th, 2017, to Ethan, Dolby, Louisiana, Baker Farm, come get me. And there's uh, Ethan. It never, in, in Resident Evil 7 and in Resident Evil 8, you never see Ethan's face. It's always obscured by something. Here it's obscured by the clip. It's always obscured by something. It's kind of funny. Uh, it's just a detail. They just decided they never wanted to show his face. And we got her driver's license. She's five seven. Can't find out. Can't. She's from Texas. We don't know much else. Oh, we got physics. We got physics. All right, now I will make a note. This game is deliberately and intentionally dark. So there may be moments where you're, you're thinking, yo, can you like turn the brightness up? And if it gets bad enough, I will, but it is supposed to be dark. Like this is how it's supposed to look, like dark. And now you can see now that you've entered. So it is supposed to be a dark atmosphere. All right, can't get that open. Alright, here's the kitchen. What do we got? What do we got cooking? Oh my god. I'd, I'd be freaking out. I'd be freaking out way more than he just did. If a cockroach... I hate cockroaches. And we get them where I... <laughs> By the way, I love this look. Meat. Um, yes, me too. And sometimes, if it's bad enough, you have to a little bit to see. Especially if you don't have the best TV. But y you're right. I, but I love that. It's not spam. It's meat. Oh shit! They left this left this dripping. 
All right, let's see what else we got here. All right, they were cooking up some ravens, I see, as one does. That is a sticky-ass gross fridge. My God! Is there any beer in here? No beer? God damn it. All right. What else we got? It's a nice painting. Nice picture. All right, so... First things first. We head up to the attic. So that's what you do when you first enter a scary, creepy house. <laughs> I love how you were able to get that font going. I don't even know how you did that. You'll have to teach me that trick. Derelict house footage. Love it. Doop, 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 doop. Anything in here? Just some crud. I'm good on crud. Creepy room. In the demo, they had dolls hanging from this. Just just went on a bold text generator. I like it. No real reflections in this one. They, they didn't want to. They didn't want to spend the GPU budget on that. Oh well. All right. Dark, creepy room. Ah, let's. You know, you know what? Let's play some piano. Why not? Whoa. All right, guess we're not doing that. Um, okay, I've got some photos here. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice scenic view. I think there's some photos over here too. There's at least something. Whoa, dude. Whoa, hey, that's my girl. That's me. I'd recognize her anywhere. All right, I'm gonna show you guys a secret too. Gonna put in the tape. These loading times here took forever on last gen machines. They were awful. Like 90 seconds. Now it's like, alright, it's just done. Where did you find this guy? Alright, here's the secret. Hey, I only work with professionals. You look around the ground, it's close by. It might take me a moment. Here it is, lockpick. I found a lockpick. I don't do ADR. This new guy? I'm not feeling it. Again? Just don't be surprised if we have to make a change. Look at he's just talking right in front of me. New plan. We do a walk through the inside first, then we shoot the intro. Just like we always do. Just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking shithole. I do love this setup of these three, like, kind of ghost hunter loser dudes making this kind of B rated show that just walked into the wrong house. Are we rolling? Alright, let's go. <clears throat> he is. I get the impression they kind of all are, but um, Pete's definitely the worst. You. Clearly. So, why are we in hell this time? This guy actually seems decent here. You ever prep? Andre. What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sounds. Ooh, is it haunted? You don't get to learn too much about Clancy since he's kind of the face behind the camera. Oh, I was an anchor, you know. We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's I that? love that. Nothing. Weekend sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's the story, Andre? Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. The usual. How long do you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. I'm Clancy. Let's make a great cutaway. So, uh, Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Remember that lockpick I got? Bakers, Jack Can use it right here. Baker. About their son, Lucas. Nothing in here but a photo of a little girl. Hmm. Ah, shit. I know I should have worn my good shoes. Oh, shit. Ghost sighted in Bayou. Although, this would make a great backdrop. Let's take a look. Andre, what do you think? I like it. Andre? Hmm? 
Andre? Andre! Clancy, you see where Andre went? I did not. Where is he? Unfucking believable. This is the last time I work with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go, but a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy, you stick with me. Thanks, man. I'll forget about what you said earlier. Oh, me too. That was a great way they did the demos for this game. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? I didn't hear nothing. And the way that they, they released more than one. Or they early they Andre! updated the one demo. They called it beginning hour. It was fucking scary. Andre? Especially if you were used to like five Andre, and six. You, then you were like, oh holy shit. They 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 went back in a good way. Whoa. Oh, they seem nice. What the Looks hell? like the people Andre were talking about. So you'll notice in this video, Pete gets yeah, down and kid. finds a finds a lever. All right, new deal. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. All right, sounds good to me. This house is not cool. What say you, Pete? You first. Oh. Need a nice hero shot of me coming down the ladder. Makes sense. So, uh, you first. A <sighs> hero shot of me coming down the ladder. What do you see? What is it? All right, come on down, man. I got I got the shot ready for you, for you to come down. Come on down. Oh, he wants me to look around. All right, let's see. Oh shit! Nice, I found Andre. Let's get the hell out of here. Yo, Andre, we got it. We got it. We got a bug it, man. Let's get out of this creepy house. Oh shit! <laughs> that shot. That one's just like whoa. That definitely sets the tone of this game. It's like, oh, okay, this is gonna be uh, Jesus. um, this is gonna be a little different than the past few games. Now, all right, now here's the here's the secret. Remember when I grabbed that hidden lockpick at the beginning of the video, and as Clancy, I unlocked that drawer, and there was there wasn't much in it, just a photo of of Evelyn, just kind of a little 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 teaser. Now. I have access to an early antique coin. Not early, it's the only way to get this one, actually. Um, alright. Now I know where the, um... Now I know where, uh... Yeah! It, and it's also kind of cool that, like, you can affect through the tape. It's kind of meta. It's just, you know, the way you can affect that. Alright, so everything else we've seen... Let's see what he has to say about this photo. Looks like the owner's... But now, because of the tape, we know about this. And you can get this without the tape. You don't. You don't. It's actually optional to watch that tape. But most first-time players should probably end up watching it and then being like, "Oh, that's what you do." All right. So down we go. Get a little look at Ethan's shoes. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm not going back that way. Ow. Damn it. All right, so here's the pipe right here that they ripped Andre off of. You can see the dried blood. But now we can go a little further. Crouch down. kind of a joke in uh, RE7 and 8. Ethan's hands are always getting hurt. The guy just has the worst luck when it comes to keeping his hands safe. 
Alright, so we're heading down this way. Oh, God. And that's Andre. There he is. Andre got left down here. There's one of our sewer gators. Andre... I have the feeling got off the easiest. I don't know if we ever find out exactly what happens to Pete. But we find out what happens to Clancy and it's not good. Oh shit. Injections. Okay. Injections in a toilet. And there's that cage. There's that uh, cell. Yeah. We saw it earlier in that video. It's locked. Alright, let's take a look around. Alright, bunch of uh bunch of names that are either dead, turned. Let, let's see here. Let's see if one of them's Pete. It's Peter. Yeah. Peter dead. Andre dead. Clancy L. I don't whoa, what does L mean? It's interesting. I like turned dead. Uh Clancy L living? So Clancy might at this point be alive. I think we can also flip this around. Bunch of other names. Mia. Nothing in parentheses there. Okay. Bolt cutters. That's good. Alright. Let's rescue her. Yeah, it could be lost. Or could, could be lost living. We'll find out more later, that's for sure. It's me. It's Ethan. Ethan? Ethan? Are you alright? You shouldn't be here. What do you mean? You contacted me. No, no, I wouldn't. Did I? Did anyone see you? Did he see you? He? Who else is here? What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. We need to go. Daddy? We need to go now! Alright. So we saw the list. Go follow Mia. Someplace safe. Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Baby, you've been gone three years. Three years? Has it really been three years? Ooh. What is this place? What'd they do to you? Not now. We need to get out of here first. I think it's this way. me but you did I didn't okay fine just tell me what's going on I'm telling you everything that I know somehow I don't think we so have to go this way what an insanely huge basement like like it's like, what kind of what kind of place is this are you sure you know where you're going the family used to bring me food through here I remember All right, through we go. She's confused. There. It's there. This is it. I remember this room. There's another door here. I'm sure of it. 
All right, let's look around a little. It's not here. E zero zero one. We're gonna be a family now that you're here. Uh, what? Gonna be a what now? There's another door here. I'm sure of it. Cute doll. Whoa. Is that Mia? Mia. We gotta get out of here. Just stay here, alright? I'm gonna have a look around. Hmm. So you go back through. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Alright, through here we go. And we have a stairwell. Nothing there. Storm started. Perfect. Guest house map. Yes. Because everyone keeps a map of their house in a drawer. Alright, here. First aid med. First aid med. Good, good. Alright. I don't have to go right now. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, I'm coming. Coming! Yes. Baker Residence. Ethan speaking. Whoa! She's strong. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, shit. Ethan's poor hands. Wait. Wait. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ouch. First aid met with R1. I'm gonna hold off. If I can help it. No, that one's locked. Alright. But Mia, are you feeling any better? You good? I think she's better now. Whoa! Oh god. Now I have a new area. Axe will take it. Tell you what, Mia. I had about enough of you. Alright. Whoa! Now I'll use my first aid. And you can block with L1. There it is. Oh, look at that. Yikes. All 
Alright, um... Oh! We got a phone call. <clears throat> Hello? You really shouldn't have come here. Who's this? And what the fuck is going on? My name's Zoe. There should be a way out through the attic. Attic? Go there. Now. Roger that. Oh god. She's gone. I'll take my axe back, thank you. Alright, so now... That's the bathroom right there. Now this door's open, and you you all recognize all of this. So, we are heading to the attic. Here's what we got. Nothing in here. Now, I seem to recall... Now we have bolt cutters. That we got earlier. So we can use those right here. That gives us a fuse. Now, if we head back into this room, put it right where it goes. Then now, we can go. Ooh, I forgot. Forgot about you there. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Oh my god. You shouldn't have done that. It fucking hurts. Oh my god. That's right, you hold it down. God. Let's see how you feel. Oh my god, there goes my hand. Whoa. She literally just cut my hand off. Boy, <laughs> look at this. This is crazy. I forget how they censored this in the Japanese version. Uh, it's something strange. I forget exactly what they did. It might have been that she doesn't cut his hand off at all. In terms of like censoring violence in video games and media, Japan is a little more strict. But I know some stuff is different in that version. I'm looking around a little bit. Looking around. Oh, there it is. I knew there was a gun in here. All right, I got a gun. Okay, fine. All right. More gun ammo. It's gonna help us. Alright. Check this room over here. More handgun ammo. Very nice. Alright, so we got a handgun and we have an axe. I don't think there's any more ammo or anything. But it don't hurt to check. Do it. Mannequins. Alright, let's switch the gun. Let's get out of here. Now that was what Zoe recommended. Take the ladder in the attic and go. Oh god. No, I'm out of here. I'm going down. Oh, she kicked me over. Ooh. Good kick, Ethan. Load. You don't 
you, you reload slow when you have one hand. Here we go. Jesus. You have to be careful. They're relying on me. Everyone. Relying on me. Everyone. Shit. No! Oh, I think she got me. Oh, she cooked my goose. Go back. How can I go back home if I'm dead? Well, I guess maybe in a in a box. Fighting Mia. Mia is dangerous. <laughs> Apparently. Oh boy! All right, let's do this again. Boom! Give me the gun. Give me the first aid. All right, I know where okay. everything is. Fine. All right, we'll be quick. Quick as a cat. Bullets. And there was one thing of bullets in here. All right, let's hit the ladder, but this time... We're going to see if we can climb down a little faster as soon as we see trouble. There's trouble going down. We're going down. Oh, you can beat that. Ooh! Ooh! Ah, shit. Oh, God. I have to do this! You really don't. Here we go. Got her. Oh, jeez. Why'd you try to saw, chainsaw me up? Yeah. God damn. It's not how you show love. Right. Well, I think we're safe now. We got everything. We'll, we'll get a doctor to look at that hand. Oh shit! Family son. <clears throat> Ow. I'm going to pause it right here and take a quick bathroom break and get some more coffee. I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough of Resident Evil 7. I will be right back in just a moment.
Alright, I am back. Thank you guys for waiting patiently. I appreciate it very much. I made a little bowl of almonds, so I'm gonna be quiet during the cutscene. So, I won't- you won't hear me munching. Come on. Don't you die on us now. You have work to do. What the hell? Rise and shine, sleepyhead. It's time for supper. Who, who are all you people? Where's Mia? <laughs> Edith, it's good. Dumb some bitch wasn't no good if it hit him. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Get out of here, Margaret. Hit boy's got to eat. He got to have his supper. Come here, boy. Let's do this. Come on. Shit, oh shit, oh shit! He's not eating it, Jack! He's not eating it! Get the hell up, Margaret! I don't think that for him! Get the hell out of here! You're a son of a bitch! Oh, I can't believe it! He's not a bitch! He's not eating it! He's not eating it! This was supposed to be a very special feast. Come on, boy. <laughs> God damn it. I bet it's that cop again. God damn pigs. I'm coming back for you. All right. I'm back just chewing the last of my almonds. Whoa. Don't mind me being rude and chewing. That's why I muted it during the cutscene. There I am. I made it out of the chair. Hello, old lady. Alright, here we are. Cutscene's passed. We have a blender full of God knows what. Nico's Hardware. Saw, rope, pet collar. That seems expensive. Oh, tw okay. Still, one pet collar for 20 bucks? That seems expensive. Rope, it depends how long they are, I guess. I don't think Nico's hardware has very good has very good deals. What about you, Onylink? What do you think about Nico's hardware? Nico's like Marvin in Pulp Fiction. He's like, man, I don't even have an opinion. Alright, that's fine. Handgun ammo! Alright, three missing uh, during Urbex trip. State authorities are asking, to help, ha are asking for help locating three men who went missing during their travels to Dolby Parish from New Orleans in the 9th of this month. The missing men have been identified as Peter Walken, Andre Strickland, and Clancy Javis. The three produce videos for the internet and tra oh, for the internet, not even for TV, um, and uh, traveled to Dolby to shoot footage for their latest production. Their videos consist mostly of the group exploring abandoned buildings and haunted houses. All right, one neat little touch that I think is in this room might might be might be thinking of a different room. We'll look around. Right here. The Unveiled Abyss by Clive R. O'Brien. Clive R. O'Brien is a main character in Resident Evil Revelations 1. And so evidently wrote a book about his experiences from that. I always thought that was a nice touch. All right. Can nice candlelight. Candlelight. Nice old lady. Oh, oh, let me shut your fridge. No, I meant to I meant to shut it. Like, shut it all the way. Yeah. All right, what do we have here? Female, or March 13th. Female, 50s, meaty, saute. That's what you do. Um, July 30th. Male, 20s, portly, 
barbecue. What's the difference between portly and meaty? Is is portly more like he's kind of fat, and meaty like more like thick softball player build? Is that word? Is that, okay? I don't know. All right, male thirties, lean, gumbo. Oh, that's okay. All right. All right, nothing in here. Can't open that. You're making dinner. What do you miss? Just the, the just uh, this family having dinner. You, we were having a dinner of our own that you missed. Herb, nice. Just sitting there. Yeah, we were just enjoying. Look, look, here's what you missed. We were enjoying this fine feast, this supper at the table with the kind company of this sweet old lady. Garage. It looks fragile. Maybe you can break it with something. Garage. It's secured with tape that can't be removed by hand. We're talking some real tape. Can I go in here yet? Locked from the other side. Classic Resident Evil line we hear. Oh! I'm out of here. Jack Baker, not my friend. Okay. Oh God! I didn't. Mean Ow! Jeez, this guy's got some reach. I didn't mean to, sir. I appreciate the hospitality. Oh no! Oh God! I'm out of here. Ah! Okay, good. I blocked that one. Ah! Oh! Oh, God. Woo! Ah! Oh, jeez. Hatch key. I'm still getting used to these controls. I don't have time to look at pictures right now. Did he kill me? Yeah, I think he did. I don't know what she ever saw in you. Dang! All right, we're going to retry that. Jack's pursuit, hiding in the shadows and keeping quiet. Those are good 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 ways. All right, so back through here. Handgun ammo. We already read the stuff, but I don't know if it counts. We are trying to, I'm going to try to get every file this playthrough if I can. I don't remember what that is. There was an herb in the trash. Expensive stuff. Hey, what's up, Tyler? How's it going? Yes. Herb. Oh, got the three notes on here. Meaty. Portly. Lean. I was trying to figure out the difference between what the Baker family meant by meaty and portly. Is like I was thinking portly was like chubby or kind of kind of fat and meaty was like maybe like thick like softball player build that's that was that was my best that's what I was thinking that's what only Lincoln and I were thinking so let's try to do a little better this time I gotta remember L3 I can run what's up Jack thought you'd just slip out before dinner was done no is that what you thought? Maybe you were the one that thought that. You ever think about that, Jack? Uh, oh God, I'm out. Portly, short, and round. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Ah! I forgot he does that there. I knew he does that. I knew he did that. 
Yeah, well, just wasn't expecting it at that moment. God, I hate the, the the anxiety of this game is hearing that boom, 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 boom behind you. Wow! Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, God. Oh, that's right. There's this. Forget about this. Yeah. Uh, there goes my leg. <laughs> I love that leg. You looked it up. It does connotate round, but not necessarily short. The example is a tall, portly man. <laughs> okay. All right. Round. Round. And so meaty could mean, like, kind of muscular or thick. You can do it. <laughs> Use first aid med. Fix my leg. I'm on it. <clears throat> Actually, I am. Thank you. What the... Ooh! Here. He's daddy. God, I'm really trying. God damn it. Hold on. Ah! I'm running. Jeez. Whoa. Where is he? You know I'm gonna find you, right? I'm not gonna find you. You're not going to find me, because I'm going in here. You'll never- ah! All right. Jeez. Alright, now I know another coin is. I remember many of them. Right there on the lawnmower. We got our second antique coin. This game makes you do a little more deep breathing than 5 and 6. Or even 4 for that matter. Or any of them. Alright. I remember there being some stuff in your safe room. Got a main house map. Chemical fluid. Herb. Alright. Yeah. Okay. You're correct about that, Tyler. It, 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 it is. It, it does depend where he gets you for that scene. And then uh, Village goes into more detail about what's up with all that. Because Ethan be reattaching limbs. That ain't normal. All right, I'm looking around. I know there's some stuff in here. Uh -huh. This is a safe room. Lock pick. You unlocked it. Classic. Classic RE. All right, new items have been added. New items, the essence of d d defense. I am not going to use any bonus items this playthrough. I'm going to put my coin away. Uh, I am not going to use the Albert. I'm not going to use secrets of defense. I'm not going to use walking shoes. Um, not going to use that. <clears throat> no bonus. No bonus items. Um, okay. I'm gonna keep it all as is. Okay. Yeah, I will not be whipping out. Won't be whipping out my Albert tonight. This game is really uh, big on having a lot of hidden secret stuff, though. Like, of all Resident Evil games, this is the one where there'd be, like, an herb in this bean can. Like, this is the Resident Evil game that hides shit in the corners. There's even an item. There are even items where, like, uh, it really... Hold on. Oh, they really stink. Well, okay. All right, so now I have a lockpick. Um, all right. Um, I'm going to combine my herb w oh, with this for chemical fluid. I'm in red? Shit. I ain't feeling too fine. Ooh. Uh, yes, yes. <clears throat> Baker Residence. You did 
good, Ethan. Zoe, right? What the fuck are you? Shut up and listen if you want to stay alive. Mm. You gotta get out of that house. There might be a way out through the main hall. All right. Oh, and that thing on your wrist is a codex. Don't lose it. It's important. If you need to, contact her by codex. The frequency is 140.85. Glad to hear that you're alive. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna be quiet. Avoid Jack. <gasps> All good. I love this. This is the one with Lucas. Nope. Oh. That's Zoe. These are the two. The, I, like, I like both of these. I love this. You don't know him, but you get the feeling he's an asshole. That's Lucas. I love that. You don't know him, but you get the feeling he's an asshole. Lucas, February 2013. It's that crazy husband and wife from before, but they seem decent here. Jack and Marguerite's 25th wedding anniversary. All right. This game has bobbleheads. I don't have a weapon yet, though. No punching in this game. Can't do anything with that. Alright. Trying to remember. Okay, I remember where to use the lockpick. But I'm trying to be stealthy. That's true. Hey, over here. Open up. Yes, sir. By the way, there's a little oversight, a little mistake here I'm gonna point out. Hey, you gotta help me. Hold on, back up. Now, sir, do you live here? I mean, is this your property? What? Me? No. No. All right. Now, we got several calls about some missing persons lately. You don't understand. I gotta get out of here. Now, calm down. You're not listening to me. There are crazy people in this house trying to fucking kill me. <laughs> well, all right. Let me tell you this. You don't exactly seem like you're playing with a full deck yourself, all right? Are you kidding me? Look, like I said, we've had several missing persons called. And I can't rule out that an outsider like yourself may not be involved. All right. I'll tell you whatever you want. All right. Now, that's more like it. Now, meet me in the garage. We'll talk there. Hey, wait. You got to give me your gun. <laughs> you must have lost your mind. Look. Officer. Deputy. Right. Deputy. That's a mistake right there. Um, he, the, the character actually has three chevrons on his sleeve, so he's actually a sergeant. So when he goes, listen, officer, he goes, deputy. He's, well, he's actually higher than that. He's a sergeant according to his own uniform. Now, do you want to see my name in the obituaries? Or do you want to be a hero and save my life? A fucking pocket knife? Here. Take it. That's all you're gonna get. And I don't really see a strong... Now. Um... Resemblance to LeVar Burton. What am I gonna do with a knife? Other than the fact that they're both black. I'm not really seeing LeVar there. Alright. First aid med. I'll take that. Or rather, I should say... I do love Jordy. I love Star Trek The Next Generation. I watch it all the time. You did a good uh, Jill ending run this morning. Felt weird going out of your way for the MO discs. Also tried a Chris run, but got stunlocked to death by hunters. Don't you hate that when trying to save Rebecca? Stunlocking is even worse in RE0. Here we go. Lately, I've been trying to find obscure episodes of Next Generation that I've never seen. And I've, I've been finding some. They play them all the time. All right, here we go. Let's let this play. Hey, we gotta get the fuck out of here. We'll talk Star Trek you later. What you doing out here alone in the middle of the night? Me? What about you? No, it's my job. Why don't you do your job and tell me? Answer my questions. You're not gonna believe me if I told you. Try me. Hey, put that door back. Put Wait. that door back. Up. Wait. Uh. Uh. Uh oh. Uh. Ooh, ooh. Uh, I have his gun now. Wow, 
Alright, hold on. I'm looking around for items. Yeah, right, I'm healing. I don't care what nobody says. Ooh, god damn. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. I got car keys. We're going for a spin, y'all. It is a little dark. I've been debating on in-game. It's dark for me, too. So what you're seeing on stream is accurate to what I'm seeing. I've been debating. Ow, I just bumped my elbow on the table. I've been debating on bumping it up a little bit. But the game is meant to be dark. Uh, but I am... I have been thinking about it for a little bit. And now that you've brought it up... I am going to bump it up by one notch. See, this one on the left, if we're going by the guide, should not be visible. Here, it's not visible. Now it's visible. You know, so it is meant to be dark, but I'm kind of with you that it's a little too dark. Um, but anyway. All right, we bumped up brightness by a notch. Oh, you're driving, huh? Okay. Whoa, okay, what's this laughing at? Oh my god. I forgot that there I forgot that there were different ways this could play out. Where he gets to the car first. Oh jeez. I'm running. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Oh. Oh, did he kill me? He totally got me. He totally got me. Garage fight. Alright. Let's try this again. Let's take a look at my look at my stuff here. Alright. We're in red. Let's heal. What are we now? We still got blood on the screen. We're in green. We're good, good enough. We're fine-ish. Boop. Whoa. 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 That was kind of weird. Hey, Alright, can me. I skip this cutscene? Get the I guess not. No more dying in here. Hey, what about you? Oh, it's my job. Won't you do your job and tell me? Answer my questions. You're not gonna believe me if I told you. Try me. Hey, put that door back. Put that door back. <laughs> Wait. Oof. Not a good way to go. Yeah, that sounds good. I was trying to be a good boy and follow the rules, but it it was a little dark. All right, let me grab these keys. Here we go. Here we go. All right, this is how you this is how you do it. You start this car up. Yeah. See what you like about this, Jack. Mm. Going back up. Yeah, that's right. Woo. There we go. Back up. Where'd he go? I feel like he like ducked out. I'm trying. I'm not smashing this car for my health. Ah! Ah! Oh God! Thank you. It's not mine. Oh boy! No! Let's finish this, you and I. Now, how is Jack hitting the accelerator and the brake? He is, though. <laughs> no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Slam the brakes, no! Huh. I think I'm okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's get, this, let's get this car. Too bad that officer's not here, or I'd call in this accident. Ooh, chemical fluid. Oh boy. Now look what you've done, motherfucker. Handgun ammo. Oh, whoa! You know? Let me go! Let me go, man. Oh, jeez. Alright, he's on fire. 
Eh, maybe that's the end of him. All right, I'm going up the ladder. Whoop! Maybe I'm not. Do I have your attention, boy? You're about to see some wonderful. Oh my God! All right, well, I just want to make sure you're dead. I do love Ethan's little pathetic, like grab with both hands. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good. But that's kind of the thing, is Ethan, unlike all of the past characters, Ethan's just like an IT guy. He's not like a cop or a soldier or like someone special trained and all this shit. He's just like an IT tech nerd looking for his girlfriend. Which does add kind of an interesting dimension to Seven. Alright. Ox statuette. Sounds good. Because if you think about it, in terms of like the horror aspect, in all the other games, you're playing as like a super cop. You know? You're playing as stars. That's what they are. They're super cops. That's why Wesker wanted bioweapons tested on them, because they were the best of the best. You could argue RE2, Leon's a rookie. But he's still a cop. Three, you literally play as super cop. You play as Jill. Whoa, that's a weird little pop-in thing happening there. Carlos, well trained by by RE4. Leon's got it down. Five, Chris and Sheva, like BSAA, they've been through some shit. Six, all of the characters are experienced. Seven, I you're you're an IT nerd. You're just learning your way around. Right. Yeah! I got that bobblehead. There it is. What do you think about that? Alright, spooky house. Shoot me! Shoot me! No! I'll stab you and save ammo. I'll take the herb. Arclay Mountains! There we go. Uh, 1991. We hear a lot about the Arclay Mountains. In uh, the Resident Evil series. There's a lot of little tie-ins to the series. We had a book earlier written by Clive O'Brien from Revelations 1. We get a portrait of the Arclay Mountains. There's our third antique coin. Yeah. So we do get tie-ins to the universe. Did my daddy give you a hard time? That's your father? Mm -hmm. He used to be. I'm sorry, but he... He's a, he's dead now. You just might be able to pull this off. What? Pull what off? There's something I need you to do, but I can't explain it right now. You may need some sort of keys to do it, but find a way out of the house. Okay. I'll be in touch. Cool. Sounds good. So, we need three doggy heads. Um... Yeah, I like that too. In general, um, let's kind of try to, at least for this first playthrough, assume that a lot of that there are people in here who haven't, who who don't know that, who don't know those kind of details, and kind of try to keep discussion. I know it's hard, and I and I mess up too, um, but try to keep discussion up to like where we're at. Um, if people ask me direct questions, like, does so-and-so know such-and-such, such? I'll kind of answer it. But in terms of, like, future story speculation, try to wait till we get there. Anyway, uh, over 20 missing in two years, Captain Howell from State Police told reporters they have stated a, a started a search for Helen Midkiff. A, that's probably one of the names in that earlier thing. No, no, you're good. It's not a big deal. It's not, like, I don't take it super seriously, but just in general, just keep in mind. Um, a college student from North Carolina who was traveling to Louisiana, Miss Midkiff, hasn't been heard of since the night of the 21st. Reports of missing persons in South Louisiana have increased dramatically in the past two years. The majority of those missing are tourists and vagrants. At least 20 people are thought to have gone missing so far. Police suspect foul play and believe there may be a connection between the incidents. Plans are in place to step up local interrogations and increase personnel to further the investigations. Elisa Ashcroft, January 19th, 2016. 
All right. Light. <laughs> I like that if you get all up in it, he kind of covers it up. He's like, whoa, dude. Get that light in my face. All right, painting named Sky Hunter. Depicts a dog. Nice improvement of shadow detail from the original PS4 version. All right, can we use our coin? No, we can't make a bird out of it. We can't make a bird out of the coin. Too bad. All right, let's look around here. We got Dolvy beer. We got toast. Starting to go a little moldy. All right. I know where some stuff is, and I know where some stuff ain't. We can take this. This is kind of a throwback to the original, but it'll lock us in. So, there is one thing that I think we can go ahead and get. I might be jumping the gun, though, but we'll see. Please don't have... Jack around. All right. Um, I might need an item. Yeah, I think I need an item. Oh, there's the item. Yep. What dog head? Shit, man. I'd buy that for a dollar. All right. Let's quit. Let's take a quick pit stop. And we're going to put the coin with our coin. We are not using bonus items this playthrough. I have them, but we ain't using them. Um, chemical fluid. Combine it with this. There we go. We got three of those. Uh, shotgun shells. I'm going to wait until I have a shotgun. Gunpowder I'm going to keep. We got our key. We got our gun. Uh, call me a weirdo. I like my knife on the bottom. I like my shotgun on the left. I like any kind of machine gun on the right. Call me crazy. That's how I. That's how I like it. Uh, we're on. We're in yellow. Um, we're just gonna hold off for now. We're not gonna hit the panic button just yet. What do we have in here? Just it looks like a nice girl. Evelyn, May 2nd, 2014. Okay, sure. Alright, just a girl with a cat. We got some books. I think football. This guy liked football. Alright, we have a locked door. Oh, God! You were at the dinner table. Hello, you. Go in here. Football helmet. Maybe it's daddy's hobby. That'd be my guess. Alright, I remember where a few goodies are tucked away. Uh-huh. Oh, there's an herb. Hold on. This game, like I said, of, of all the Resident Evils, including Village, this game likes to hide little items and nooks and crannies. Like, there could be a few bullets just chilling, like, right there. This is that kind of game. There's even an item, like a stim like a psycho stimulant, that you can take that helps you see stuff. Alright, I need a lockpick for that. Alright, I prefer to walk. Chemical fluid. Um, I like to combine that. Oh, that's right, with this for gun ammo, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Taking that. Alright, now that door's locked right there, but this one we should be able to access. There's a Resident Evil.net bonus for knocking any of these balls. And. Oh, that was close. Hold on, I'm gonna try to get one of them. It can even it can be the cue ball. Hey, there it is. I don't know if I've done that yet on the PS5 version, but that is a Resident Evil.net perk bonus. All right. There's a tape here. Let's look around a little first. 
Gunpowder. Book. Blue Dog's Head! Alright, we got a little free room. There's some other stuff other than the tape. Journal! October 2nd. Reports say a storm's coming. I had a lot of trouble cleaning up after the last one years back. I guess it's time to reinforce the windows and shore up the roof. Maybe I'll get Lucas to help. The water has finally receded. The house is alright, but the old house was badly damaged. Lucas is making a fuss about a huge ship that's washed up in the bayou. If that's true, I better report to the parish. I'll go check out tomorrow. By the way, I evidently say that word wrong almost every time until someone corrects me. Bayou? Bayou? I... However the fuck you say that. I, I, I manage to say it wrong every time, no matter how many times I'm corrected. So I'm, that's just that, I think that's just going to continue forever. But feel free to correct me. All right. Nothing there. Got a blender. Little thing. We got another little note. Marguerite, move that piece of shit hippie we caught from the hall to the processing area. My God. Looks like uh, the family stuffed it themselves. <laughs> what? Why does he take that off the wall? So, something about... I don't know that I've ever done that before. All right. Sure. All right. I kind of want to knock every ball in. I kind of want to knock every ball in. Uh. All right, let's forget it. Um, we got a tape. We got a tape, y'all. Simply titled Mia. Let's throw this in. If any of I mentioned this earlier, about an hour ago at the beginning on the first tape. If anyone ever played this on last-gen machines, PS4, Xbox One, these loading times were the worst fucking ever. Some of the worst of last-gen. Like, I'm talking 100 seconds. Ethan, if you find this, I know I'm talking like waiting two minutes. From you. Two actual minutes in real time. They were like... But I just want you to know that wasn't me. I don't, I don't know what happened. There's so much that you need to know. There you are. You gave us quite a scare, young lady. God, I remember this. All right, here we go. All right, second tape. This time playing as Mia. Creepy, creepy baby faces. I'm going in here. Oh my God. Creepy bugs. Lots of CRTs going to waste. If y'all know me, you know I love CRTs. to see me. I don't understand you. Well, that door shut? Yeah. Once the door shuts, you sneak over here. Now's not the time for that. I seem to recall this being the best place to hide. We see another one of those puzzles. We saw one earlier. I think I just have to be patient. No, 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 don't come over here. All right. 
it. Get out of here, Marguerite. Dead wrong. I'll feed you to my babies and fertilize the garden nope. with what was left. Oh, just candles. Oh my god. Oh, that wasn't the right thing to do. That wasn't the right thing to do. I think I know what to do now. I think I remember now. It's been a while since I've beaten this. I think I can just chill here, let her go back through and try again. I think I grab an item on the other side, then wait on the one, then wait for her to go, then go through with the item. Like all my fancy hand gestures, like... Hopefully she can't hear me running. Generally not a good idea. But I think, I think what I can do is run over here. I think there's an item. There's obviously this. Shit. Oh! Oh! N ah! Now, when she was saying, okay. I gotta make a spider out of this thing. These always get me, these, these puzzles. Spinny puzzles. They get me going. Which sounds weird, but you know what I mean. I mean, they throw me off. They mess me up. Hold on. If I can just go like this. Uh-huh. 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 All right. Alright. Now, ju just like a lot of parts of this game, this is supposed to be, like, dark. Mia doesn't have a light. But I do think now that I've bumped up one notch, you can at least, like, see a little bit. You gotta be able to see a little bit. She loves you. God. She wants us to be a family, God damn it! I'd rather not, please. You! You! I'm not here. All you have to do is accept her fucking gift! That, I know that sounds reasonable, but no thank you. We love you! Why can't you see that? Uh, you keep hurting me. Embrace us! No, thank you. There are known unknowns here, and you are not paying fucking attention. All right, here we go. No, 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 no! You don't fucking try to take your share of the blame. There's no way out of there, Missy. Out of where? You don't know where I am. You don't know where I am. I could be anywhere in the house. Hmm. Looks like that's part of something. <laughs> Very astute. Looks like that could be used for a certain purpose. I'm trying to remember. What the hell do I do here? It's like, this looks like an object that could be used for something. Oh, oh, here it is. Ah, uh, ha, ha, look at that. Look at that. Ah! Where do you think you're going? Kick her. Oh, good kick. Into the tape. Last gen, this is where you'd wait for two minutes. 
And I'm not really exaggerating. You can break out the old version and try it. It's it's unreal. All right. L all right, so... I got... Ooh. Hold on. Can I hit the cue ball? Ah! That's like that scene in Rocky 1. Where, uh... The one character in the background does that. Is there a name for that in billiards where you accidentally knock the cue ball like you hit it and knock it off the table? It's got to have a name. Every sport has a name for certain things. Uh, I'm going to put away my antique coin. The dog heads I can put up now. Put away the tape. I don't like to throw away the tapes. I keep them. I keep my tapes. Uh, Gunpowder I'm going to keep. I'm going to go slap those dog heads on there while I have a safe opportunity to do so. There's got to be a name for that. You know, like in tennis, when you hit the ball, when you hit the the ball into the net, that's called a let. Every sport has a name for these crazy things. So, there's got to be a name in billiards when you knock the ball off the table. It can't just be called knocking the ball off the table. I refuse to accept that. We got a locked door, we got a snake door here. Alright. I think there's a coin in here. Scratch! That sounds familiar, and I think you actually might be right. We got a basket with physics. We got an antique coin. I think you're actually right about that. That now that you said that, that kind of ding. That kind of like that sounds like that's what it is. Uh, all right, classic Resident Evil One trope: unplugging the tub. And I like the I like the way they they handled this. So you unplug it, and you're you're expecting something. You're expecting a zombie in there or something. Instead, you get a wooden statue, so you're thinking, all right, I'm good to go. New item, new key item, disgusting mess, God knows what. All right, thank God, it's not something scary. Oh! <laughs> then you have this. Think of a thing, and this sure shit beats the hell out of dying. <sighs> oh, boy. My little girl has given us a gift. And this gift is with me all the A gift that keeps on giving the whole year, Clark. All right, I'm running. As you can see, is only part of her gift. Which, in a word, means you're fucked. God damn. Does this pause time while I do this? All right, I can make. I gotta make an eagle out of this thing. I always suck at the. Oh, hey, hey, hey! That's pretty good. That's that's world record. I don't care what anyone says world record who builds this shit <laughs> well great question classic resident evil question and it ain't george trevor this time because he's dead all right here we go so this room has its fair share of hidden goodies now, like I said before, Resident Evil 7, only entry in the series that really likes to do stuff like, look at that. There's just shotgun shells behind that painting, that, that you know, picture that fell off the frame. There's eventually going to be uh, a secret, like, behind one of these cobblestones, but you have to find, like, a hint picture first before you can access it. Handgun ammo. Chemical fluid and a few brewskis. Dolvi beer. All right. I don't want to waste electricity. All right. Uh, knife. Young gun ammo. Very nice. Stim Psycho stimulants. That'll help you find items. This is kind of a good room to demo that item because there's a lot of uh, hidden items in here. There's an herb. But I remember some of them. And so I think I'm just going to say, here we go. But yeah, that's what the psycho stimulant will do. Temporarily sharpens the senses. I wonder what it is. I wonder if it's Adderall or Five Ants. Like, what are we? What are we working with here? Um, 
But uh, either way, it works. It shows you where all the goodies are. Like I said, the only Resident Evil game that really does that. Not that they don't all have hidden secrets, but not quite like this one. This one, they're oftentimes really hidden. Alright, so, we got everything in there for now. We're gonna need a lockpick, which we don't have at the moment. Ethan is not the master of unlocking. Alright, let's take a look around. Antique coin. Those are gonna be useful gunpowder. Sometimes these have goodies. Sometimes they don't. Alright. Looks like a kid drew it. There's Mia and some butterflies. Mia with a not so happy looking look on her face. Alright, uh, June 14th, vacationing husband and wife. The husband was a success. He's the 12th. Unfortunately, the wife was no good, so we'll just get rid of her. July 7th, three college girls. They're all rotten. Lucas is a damn idiot. August 13th, homeless man. Turned in three days. He's the 13th. Okay, anything else? Ooh, just a creepy picture. All right, anything else in here? I like to be, like to uh, like to check carefully. There we go. There's our first molded. Got it. Got its head. There's our first molded. Came right out of there. Okay. Going this way. No one locking that from the other side. That needs a scorpion key. We can go here. Get a little shot of the basement. Thing around here, and we have a safe room. All right. Okay, we need lock picks. We need two lock picks right now. Actually, three that I can think of. Here we go. Dear Courtney, those bastards are looking for me, but maybe this gives you a chance to escape. To escape, you have to find the reliefs shaped like dog heads. I saw one of the heads in the dissection room underground. Get it? It's the key out of here. Something's wrong with me. It must be that shit they made me eat. If I'm gonna die, I'd at least like to go out fighting. I'm gonna get a hold of, of that shotgun I saw in the rec room. You make them regret what they did to me. And make them regret what they did to me. You need to get out of here. I love you, Courtney. Love, Travis. We've been seeing some names throughout this. Um, files. List of names. Travis turned. So Travis did eventually turn. Is Courtney on here? I don't see Courtney. Maybe she got away? There was another name mentioned earlier in a, in a note. But either way, for right now, put our coins away. Shotgun shells until I get a shotgun. Uh, I might use these when I go in the basement. The psycho stimulant. Um, let's see here. Chemical fluid. I might combine that with the gunpowder. Make some more bullets. Um, I have three healing items. I think I'm going to store these plain herbs. And I actually th think I'm going to store the gunpowder. Because I think I have enough ammo where I feel comfortable. I have plenty of healing items. I think I'm good for right now. We're not using any bonus items this playthrough. This is a new game, so we're not using the Albert. We're not using the walking shoes. We're not using the secrets of defense. They're just gonna they're gonna sit there in the chest. All right. We are in yellow health wise caution, and we're gonna head down. And we're gonna have to be careful. Let me pause real quick, just take a quick sip of my coffee before it gets cold. I hope you all have been enjoying the new channel. 
like I said, we started this August 1st. And there's going to be lots of Resident Evil and other horror stuff and other sort of adjacent related games we'll be playing here, as well as kind of side games and all kinds of stuff. Alright. There we go. New follow! Thank you for joining the archives. Appreciate that very much. There we go. We got the head. Whew. New follows always appreciated, guys. Let's see here. Mystic Dragon Rose. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, God! Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh God. I didn't realize you were that close. Got his head. Okay. I get what was in there. I kind of panicked there. Lucas, I caught the guy who keeps trying to escape. I've locked him in the leftmost incinerator so he can't get away again. Take him out when he's ready. You know how to open the door, don't you? Just remember, three A's and a handprint. Do what you want with the girl. With his girl. Strong chemical fluid. All right. Three A's and a handprint. I seem to remember some, some goodies. Gunpowder. All right. William. There's the handprint. Laura. Travis. I remember... I don't know if it's just because of my brightness setting. I am trying to keep this... Doesn't one of these say Tamara? Oh, there it is. Okay. Three A's. Tamara. Three A's and a handprint. Now I gotta be careful. Oh boy. Whoa, my guy's got an arm. Shit. Wow! Good dodge. Ooh! Oh, no way! Uh, I should have blocked. Uh, I should have done many things. Um, yes, I have done uh, Jack's Birthday DLC. Uh, I've played every level. I have not like gotten an S rank or whatever on every stage. I haven't unlocked everything. But I played a decent amount of it. <clears throat> it was fun. Oh, I'm checkpointed here. Okay. Now, okay, I just want to make sure. The Krauser molded, yeah. Like, um... You know what's kind of funny is, of all of the Resident Evil games, of all of the PS5 native apps, the only one where the trophies didn't properly transfer over is this one. Um, however, I think it did properly transfer the, the bonus feature stuff. So, um, was that part of Volume 2? Uh, yeah, so I... I uh, hold on, let's... Sort these in terms of what I got. Um, I, did I get any? Yeah, I fed Jack every type of food. I don't know. I think that's the only thing I got trophy-wise. I got an S rank on all stages. Didn't do that. Um, but anyway. Yeah, I've certainly played my fair share of the DLC. Uh, much of which I think is great. But yeah, of the three... Of, of RE2 th Remake 3 um, and... Um, Seven. I train when I transferred my data over. This was the only one where the trophies didn't come with it. <laughs> not at least not at least only about half of them. It's kind of random and weird, so I have to reget re get some of those if I want them. All right, here's this guy. Oh, don't dude, don't block. There, I got him. I like to be careful not to overshoot. Like once I got him, I got him. Shit, shit. Got him. Woo! Yeah, th th there's a lot of action. I actually thought this game had a lot of funny, clever DLC. Because the core game would almost kind of lend you to think that this game is more about... it, More about just the, the individual game itself. Which it is. But that you wouldn't think this game would be the best fodder 
for uh, DLC stuff, but there actually is quite a bit of interesting stuff. And we will be playing it. At, le at least everything... That my philosophy when I'm doing these story runs, these story marathons, is everything kind of story-related we'll be playing. Um, all right, let's take a look here. I'm in yellow. So what would this make? Hold on. And Right, enhanced handgun ammo. I'm making it. And I'm swapping it. At least, for, at least for a Krauser. At least for Krauser arm here. Who we'll call Travis. You call him Krauser arm. Oh my god, really? I, I call him Travis. I'm healing. Got him. Maybe. Whoo! All right. Dissection room key. Thank you, thank you, Travis. Thank you for your service. Your service to my adventure. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and take the psycho <clears throat> stimulants. I like how your vision gets all gets all like like you just popped two Vivans and Adderall. Well, that's right, I can't go this way yet, can I? There, there's a bunch of items in there. Oh, no, I can. Maybe. Look at all this. It lets you know where all this stuff is. That's why I wanted to deposit a bunch of stuff there. Antique coin, just chilling right there. I right, want to be careful. Handgun ammo. Processing area map. Herb. Handgun ammo. You unlocked it. Okay, I'm trying to be careful here. Treasure photo, that's the thing I was talking about with that cobblestone. That you have to grab that first. Lock pick. Look at all look at all these in the distance. <clears throat> it really helps to have it. Herb. Alright, chemical fluid. Let me drink some water. I keep kinda hacking and choking. Hydrate. Hydration is good. Alright, let me check here while I've got this thing going. I don't know how long it lasts. Shotgun shells will take them. More psychostimulants! <clears throat> I don't have enough space. Okay. Can't open that. At least we'll know those are there. Whoa. Oh, I, oh, I missed the scorpion key. Shit, I'm gonna need that. I might have to make a very quick pit stop at the, um, let's go this way. Okay. Alright, it's still going. While it's going, I just want to take a quick look over here. There's something, there's a few items in that main room I missed. But, good to know. Oh, there's something here. Oh, that's what, one of them was a lockpick item. Oh, I never opened this! There was ammo just chilling there. It's definitely useful. Uh, let's use the lockpick. See what we have here. Handgun ammo, sure. Antique coin, put them with the others. Don't need the spare herbs. Um, I'm going to put that away for now, the chemical fluid. Treasure photo, I'm going to put it away. I have viewed it at this point, so I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, reap the spoils of that. Hope I don't have a dude jumping all up on me. I'm gonna need another lockpick there. I already opened. I already saw those. Yeah, you have to see get the the thing before you can open this. Steroids. So steroids in this game uh, dramatically strengthens muscles and increases max health. Effect lasts immediately. Now, if I recall correctly. You can use it also to heal. So if I get hurt, and I'm, I'm in yellow right now, if I get down to red, I think that's an ideal time to use it if you have the inventory space. If I start running out of space, I can go ahead and start juicing. Okay, it seems like my stimulants wore off. 
Let's go grab that extra batch down here. I want them. I'm gonna turn Ethan into a junkie. By the time we're at this, by the time we're at this creepy house, he's gonna be addicted to steroids and uh, and stimulants. I have a dissection key. Does it work on this door? No, that one's locked from the other side. And moldy bread, yes. Almost forgot that. Handgun ammo. And chemical fluid. Whoa! There we go. Got the head. Wah! Mmm. Hold on. Shit. Got it. Now the head's popped. We're in the red. Let's juice. I like how Ethan goes, Arr! Yeah, see? Yep, now we're green, and now we have more max health. That's good. Spare herb. Oh, God. Ah, you bastard. I had a guard. Whoa! That was a weird thing that just occurred. Capcom, were you watching? Still in green. Oh, God, Jesus. Oh, no. Two of them, cheese. Here, I'm switching. Yeah. Yeah. This game. Pretty go. Ooh. Where, are Where are you? There you are. Jesus, are you kidding me? Since when? How is he so strong? All right, I've had enough. Of no way. How? This is normal! This isn't Madhouse, this is normal! Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. We're all the way back. That isn't cool at all. Like, this should be locked. We are all the way back. Now, part of this is my fault. I need to do a manual typewriter save next time, and I will. But that kind of fucking sucks. <sighs> that was... Hmm. Just what was up with those HP figures? That was... See, normally they've been going down like that. Like, they, I mean, their movements are awkward, they're tricky, but I mean, my god. 
All right, let's tear through all of this. I like to make sure I get every note. Um, grab this. We're gonna move fast. Uh, I have enhanced. Let's combine this with this. Swap it out. Open Tamara. Hey, what's up, 1L? How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Oh, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that very much. Got him. That was a good shot. All right, now let's grab the dissection room key. Appreciate all the follows today, guys. Uh, one's locked from the other side. We can open that. We can tear this open. This is where we used the psycho stimulants before, but I know where everything is. Since we just did that. So, we know that there's an antique coin here. We know we can smash this open, grab handgun ammo. Smash that. Handgun ammo. Here's the map. We can unlock this from the other side. Uh, we can go ahead and grab this key. I didn't grab that before. Scorpion key. Treasure photo, we have to grab that again. Lock pick. Herb just chilling there. Don't have room for the chemical fluid or the psychostimulants this time, but that's okay. This time... Oh, that happens if you grab the scorpion key. I was wondering before. Ah. Jeez. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. <sighs> this might be a bad idea. There was handgun ammo in that. Nothing special in that one lock locked box. Shotgun shells. That will be that'll be more important later. Oh, but am I am I even gonna have room for this thing? I shit. Shit. <laughs> Damn. I should have uh stopped by the chest first. That was a bad call. Hopefully they didn't come up the stairs. Uh, I seem to be safe. Doors to open. And then earlier I gotta remember I, mi I had missed this. And got ammo. Alright, we got it. Uh, okay. Let's stop here real quick. I'm gonna put away the coin. Put away the shotgun shells until I have a shotgun. Uh, put away the single herb by itself. Put away the photo. I've seen it. Scorpion key. I, d I don't remember if you need it in the basement. Uh, let me, let's check our map. Maybe it'll tell us. Mm, doesn't really give us an indication. Let me think for a moment. I'm gonna put away the psychostimulants. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to regular ammo. I'm in yellow. I have three healing. I'm gonna use one. Let's get to full health. Okay. Uh, and then with that done, I'm gonna leave everything else as is. Let's do our first manual save. This screwed us over last time. I had another save here. I'm gonna create a separate one. This will be our stream save. Alright, all done. Now we have a manual save, which we did not have before. Uh, now that I have my scorpion key, by the way, do you remember last time when we had that our psycho stimulants going? And let's do this. And it was pointing to an item that I thought was right around here. It was pointing at something. That's the paper. But I swear it was pointing at something like... It might be outside. That might be what it is. It might be something outside. Yeah, because we already did all this. Okay, I, just, I had to check. It was fresh in my mind. Alright, so we there, there are some shotgun shells. And there were some... Um, we have a save. There were shotgun shells, and there are psychostimulants, but there's also enemies that we don't need to fight right now. We don't need that stuff. And I think with as many as there are, and as what happened last time, I think I should kind of just book it. Like, right here, there's an item in the sink, or I mean in the tub, there's an item. 
I think we should fight this guy. Oh, jeez. There's two of them, I forgot. Oh, my god. Ooh, ooh. Good. Whew. Okay. I'm gonna grab that herb, and I'm gonna run to the door. Oh, Jesus. Ooh! Heal. God damn! Woo! Wow! Jeez! I forgot how hard this game was. Fuck. Ah! Oh, at least we have a save, dude. I had forgotten, man. I had forgotten how tough this game gets. Now, this should reload us at our, at our manual save. That's the only... Yeah. Okay. Okay. I feel a lot better now, having not having to do all that again. I'm gonna start off with standard ammo. Here, let me drink this coffee. <sighs> Finish it before it gets cold. All right, I'm not going to go that way. We're going to follow the same basic strategy. We're just going to do better. I imagine this game's really tough on Madhouse. I'm going to use the default for these two. Because they're just regulars. Oh my god, are you kidding? I know headshots are the best, but the way they move... Ah! I thought I could... Strafe. Jeez! Woo! Hey, when I saved and put away that shit, I didn't grab the steroids, did I? I don't think that I did. I didn't get those the second time. Alright, now... Got it. Got in three shots of the stronger ammo. There you are. Got it! Two shots! Oh, there's another one! God, this game! Got it! We did much better that time. Much better. Please tell me that's all of them. Okay, that's right, this game auto-discards. Okay. I remember this. Ah, there it is! Nope! I was going to be your father. Now she says he will be her father. No, 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 no. I will find him, and I will make him suffer. More shotgun shells. Shotgun would be nice. Alright, um, debating. There's a few different things I could do here. Is there anything around here? I never got the... I don't believe that after I game over that last time, I don't believe that I got the, um, stimulants. But there's dudes in here now. There's more shells I could grab, if I can get them quick. Okay, chemical fluid. I thought there were shells. Are there shells around here? Aw, oh, jeez! Woo!
All right. Like I said, I'm quite sure this second time around that I did not juice up. Okay. They look like they may all be victims. I I just would say so. Or did I? I, I shit, man. I just I just don't recall. Oh, I didn't have room for it. That's right. I didn't have room for it, and then I got distracted. All right, we're in yellow. Let's go ahead and use it. Let's go ahead and use it. All right, now maximum health is increased. We have an herb. We can combine. I'm going to do it with a normal chemical fluid. That way that's full, and we have more room. Okay. Your max health increased. Alright, whoa. Okay, I was just checking. For a second I thought I saw a icon, interactable icon. Alright, um stop here. Put away the shotgun shells. We have quite a few now, sixteen. That's not bad. Um Okay. Let's put away the strong chemical fluid for now. I'll keep this with me. For the time being. <sighs> okay. Not using any bonus items this playthrough. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and make a manual save. And, um... Yeah, it'll be this one right here. Okay. Yes. Alright, all done. All right, I think I'm going to call this here today, um, for right now. Today, we beat Resident Evil 6, and we started Resident Evil 7. Um, so, we have made a decent amount of progress. Whoa! All right, hold on, let me read this. Yeesh. Uh, you've gotten to where you strongly dislike difficulty settings that just turn enemies into bullet sponges, and the player into tissue paper. I hear you on that. You haven't bothered with Madhouse, I don't blame you. Or Village of Shadows, I don't blame you. Uh, you prefer games that have more modes that are more like a trade-off or double-edged sword. One example is... Is that Kingdom Hearts 2? Final Mix? KH2? I'm not sure what that is. Uh, where critical difficulty makes enemies stronger, and the player's health increases are halved. But they give them extra abilities at the start, and plus 25% attack damage. Yeah, I... Uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, yeah. I would agree with you. Um... I like a good, balanced, challenging difficulty setting. Like in RE6, I enjoyed Veteran. RE5, I like Veteran. I'm a Veteran kind of guy when it comes to difficulty. I'd rather not play on Normal. If this had a Veteran, I'd probably choose it. You know, um, I don't like the highest difficulty because it's always just what you said. As opposed to trade-offs that I agree with you I agree with your analysis completely I'm with you hundred percent there uh, and I'd like to see more of what you're what you're what you're kind of suggesting games that don't just don't just make enemies bullet sponges and lower your health and you know have less ammo but really are smart about how they make it more challenging and maybe even to compensate giving you an advantage or two um, Right. Uh, I've beaten that game only only once on its default difficulty. I think normal. Uh, but that's interesting. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here today. I, I do hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I do appreciate the new follows uh, and everything else. We're going to stop it here for today. Uh, we're going to resume tomorrow. I, I try to aim for right around 4 p.m. Eastern time, um, you know, uh, schedule allowing. Uh, my channel's still too young uh, to raid someone, so I, I can't do that, I think, for at least 30 days, um, but anyway, uh, have a good evening as well, Tyler, and to everyone else who was, who was joining and hanging out, and, uh, I will see you guys tomorrow, so have a good night.